Episode 629, Brain Candy Podcast. Susan Meister here. 629. That's getting closer to our 666 episode. Mm-hmm. Sure is. Susie the other day surprised me with a care package. <laughs> then also she gave me one of the best shirts of all times. Frickin' bats. Frickin' bats. Frickin' bats. It's the I best. I how it's like embroidered. It's so fun. And it's like a raw hem. I love I it. Notice that? Yeah, it's That's like so super funny. cozy too. So thank you, Susie, for my little care package. It's like Halloween in July. Yes, which so is nice. really when we should start celebrating Halloween. So. Yeah, it's about the time. Yeah, even though it's hot as fucking balls out here, I discovered a new thing called the heat dome. Have you heard of this? Never. Okay, so this is a new like scientific or like like um. Uh, what are they called? Like weather phenomenon kind of thing. Maybe not new, new, but it doesn't, it's happening more because of global warming. And there's something about the air getting trapped between, like it has something to do with like jet streams and jet streams going higher than they usually do. Like the jet streams I think are what go east to west, the Mm -hmm. like air that goes east to west. And it, as they push higher, it creates these, places where heat gets trapped without any wind or anything to kind of break it up and so it's it's there's no humidity and no wind and so it feels like you're inside an oven and the last time they had this or one time when they had this in 1995 in Texas 730 something people died it was over a week Wow. Which is really bad. And pretty much all of the United States is currently in this heat dome. No way. And the only area that's not, or like it next week, there's a one little pocket in the middle where there are rainstorms because it like builds up on the outside. Yeah. So Colorado, rainstorm central because we're right in the middle and everywhere else heat like crazy. So wild, wacky weather over yeah. here. That's just the beginning. I know. I told you, my prediction is by 2044, I don't know why that number stands out in my mind, it just does, uh, We are maybe because four is red and like that oh feels God. like 2044 is like red, 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 um, I think we're all going to have to be like underground. Oh my God, underground? Yeah, I do. 20 more years. I mean, I'm indoorsy, but that's ridiculous. Yeah, I, I think it's going to be like the heat that's going to be too hot and too... Um, they said that 50% of the snow is going to be gone in Colorado by, I think it was like 2036. So you tell me 50% of the snow is gone and then we're ha- Oh my God. Every, i everything I'm going to tell you is sad. Ah, and then there was, there's, I didn't even know that there's a, a water shortage that's so bad. I saw this, there's a, they're having a water shortage. I want to say it's in Texas. And they, there are people who are putting up Craigslist ads. Can I take a shower at your house for $5? And it's not a joke. It's not like, it's like people are having to shut their water off. They're having like, this is happening. And I read this article. It was like, yeah, because of the water shortage. Oh, uh, well, mm, I remember he, recently seeing an interview with Lindsay Vaughn, the skier. Yeah. Oh. And, or snowboard or whatever she is. Yeah. And, yeah, um, she was saying how much the sport has changed since she started because, like, they'll go to these places. There's no snow. No snow. You know, all the famous resorts, wherever these people oh practice God. and stuff, there yeah. are fewer than there used to be. And then they have to manufacture it. It's all powder. Uh, what you call the fake? Yeah. Isn't that called powder, too? Yeah. Yeah. Flo- yeah. Blown snow. Yeah. Yeah. And... um you know, they see it because they're on the ground. And, like, I feel like everyone's seeing this now. Oh, yeah. Uh, it was weird. Yeah. Like, is anyone still pretending like this is fake? Right. It's just very mom, scary. I guess. Just yeah. <laughs> I guess just her. It's not the end, Susie. It's the beginning of the end. <laughs> right. I always think about that. Like, oh, okay, good. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Oh, fine then. And then I had a bio, bio- no, uh, what class was it? Oceanography professor who said by about 2040 something, we would have no more fish. Like, no say, more like, fish? No, we would have fish, but we wouldn't be able to eat them. Like it wouldn't be, they'd be overfished. I don't know if we've since 
reduced the the overfishing pro- and then like it gets too hot and it's just bad 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 that bad. is bad news we i know Oh, man, we're just going to have to be real funny to make up for this. I know. That's why, that's why we don't, you know, people will a- always ask me like, oh, do you talk about certain subjects on your podcast? I'm like, no, because people yeah. don't want to be sad when they come listen to the Brain Candy podcast. You want to be happy? You want to like scratch your head and you want to be like, I don't know, sad about yeah, like I want it to be nice things like, mm-hmm. like, you know, so we're not going to talk about any of those things. How about it? All right. Yeah. What do you think we should talk about, though? Um, I mean, you know what we haven't had in a long time? I don't have any, but we haven't had a poo story in so long. I know. So, like, if you have one, and not a personal one, because, unless it's, like, really <laughs> good. Like, like, if you haven't listened to this show in a long time, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about news-worthy, you know, like, like, oh, what is the animal? There's some animal that poos little squares. Yes. Like is that. the, what is that? Is there some Not an animal? echidna. Um, is it an echidna? A ki- a ki- who po- mongoose no. Mo- nope muskrat wombat wombat that's wombats it have that's square poo. It. Woo! good work shout out to wombats and their square poo. <laughs> shout out to wombats and abortions yes when i was growing up i had a book and it was called one woolly wombat and i bought it it's actually right over there on the bookshelf i bought it as an adult because it was like you know when you have that kid book that you remember yeah from growing up and you like can't get it out of your head but you also yeah. can't really remember how it goes or what it was about or whatever yeah so i went on uh wherever i went some used bookstore probably the one that starts the name that i can't say the name of yeah probably that one <laughs> that rhymes with, rhymes with shmamajan <laughs> <laughs> yeah that quote bookstore um <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, Eli rolled his eyes at me because I was like, oh, well, I'm, I'm going to, like, I have it in my cart on Amazon. He was like, mm, wait a sec. What happened? Yeah. Like, I canceled my Prime. I don't pay for it. But, and he's like, just, so I have to, like, rethink my, yeah, what, do it, what my well, my ways of protest I are for that. Think because that who am I paying? That um, gesture my, that you were yeah. doing. I did do. 99, he ain't getting my money doing. anymore. Yeah, it it's very noble, totally Almost. pointless, but <laughs> noble. <laughs> oh, totally like you're pointless. the only one suffering. That is why I don't love it. I know. You know, you are the only one paying this price for this. You know, protest. And I have to pay a premium for polarized sunglasses, and I can no longer get polarized two for sixteen ninety nine. Yeah, I rep- I go through those sh- those things like crazy what do you mean you lose them or they wear out i i am i don't know if i here's a question do you think if i paid more money for sunglasses i wouldn't Mm. treat them like garbage and also possibly lose them here's what happens is i tend to put them on my shirt like like the little ends on my shirt and then i lean over and then they fall on the ground yeah and then the frames get scratched Mm, yeah i scratch i have never not scratched the frames the lenses on not the frames the lenses i've never not scratched the lenses on Mm. my sunglasses and i'll be i mean i'm like outdoorsy and shit like i dropped them the one pair Mm. i did lose is now in the river in zion because i bent over to go like you know catch myself as i'm like crossing a stream and they just like boop fell right off and they were gone sounds like what you need is like a strap like croquis. Is that what those croquis. are called? Croquis. You need I croquis. I, I, I am a dad. Oh, Lord. <laughs> croquis. Like, Sarah can't remember, like, George Clooney's name, but she can remember croquis. Because <laughs> it's the funniest name. Because then it's like, if you got crocs on your feet and croquis on your eyes, you, it just feels silly. And I think I'll, at one point, have to have both of those things. And I'm like, am I this person? This I'll is tell who I you am? what else is silly. Wacky tobacky. And <laughs> I was going to partake before we started this, but I got distracted. Oh my gosh. I know. Well, I would and be. By like, wacky, you mean only like slightly silly. Yes, dad grass is mostly CBD, a touch of THC, Just but it is a small enough amount that it's legal in all 50 states. And can be delivered right to you. And it is a 
just a, it's like the smooth jazz of marijuana. Oh, totally. It's the right? it's the elevator music of marijuana. Yeah, it's just let's chill out. Let's have a nice yeah. time. Let's I like not to call crazy. it a mellow toke. It's a mellow toke, you guys. You'll love it. And it, it's perfect for summer, maybe when you're out on the lake. I don't know what you I did that. Do. See, Sarah was, it was out on so the lake. so fun. And then you just do a little, you, they have the tincture, they have the doobies. Doobies. <laughs> and then they have, what is the other one? I feel like I'm missing one. They've got like a bigger one, a big one, like a like daddy size. Oh, and then they've big got daddy. the little joints, like a little five pack. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, which I prefer. Mm-hmm. I like a little five pack. Or you've got like your passable dad grass joint. Pat- oh, right, yeah, yeah. Like so, concert size. Yes, and right so now, dad grass is offering our listeners twenty percent off your first order when you go to dadgrass dot com slash brain candy. Go to dadgrass dot com slash brain candy for twenty percent off your first order. That's dadgrass dot com slash brain candy. Yeah, man, that's great. Um, <sighs> speaking of being stoned and forgetting things. Crokies, yeah. Um, would you like to hear about this? Well, of course you would. This new, it's not new, it's old, but it's like new to me, which I think is going to be new to a lot of people. Um, basically there's something that's the opposite of deja vu. No. Yes. Tell me it's called vuja day. No, jamais vu. <laughs> no. Which translates to that which cannot be known. Tell me everything. Okay. So we all know deja vu is that feeling that you have seen this before or have yeah. done this before. But jamais vu is the phenomenon that happens when you are in a place or experiencing something that you are familiar with. So things that we know to feel familiar but it gives us this feeling like it's it's unfamiliar. And some people have it really bad. So like deja vu is the mismatch between the positive subjective recognition and the negative objective recognition, which in other words is you meet someone you've never met before and you feel like you instantly know them. So it's a misfire of short-term memories getting stored in the long-term memory place, making you feel like it's already happened. But... Jamais vu is the opposite. So it's negative subject recognition, like I can't recognize the subject, contrasted with positive object recognition. For example, you walk into like a, I don't know, your bedroom or whatever, and like the house you grew up in, and it feels like you're walking into it for the first time. Hmm. And I, apparently there are, the, there, the people who experience deja vu frequently can often experience this frequently as well. You get this? I do not get this. But no, well, actually, no, I will say this. We all recognize this in – there's one example that everyone is familiar with. Have you ever written a word so many times that it looks like you don't know what it is? Yeah. That is it. And you're yeah. like, how come I – this – I yeah, wrote why is there this so many times and I don't know what – yeah. is that how you spell it? Yeah. That's interesting. I – Maybe this is my favorite conspiracy theory because I don't believe what they say is the explanation for either thing. I love... Oh! (laughs) This is awesome! Susie's got a theory. This is so great. Susie's like me right now. Tell me everything. Like, I have no evidence. Tell me why you don't buy it. Susie's like, crop circles and deja vu. I'm on you. I smell a rat. (laughs) For real, that's how it feels like where, you know, it is such a scary thing that, or not scary, but just sort of like unnerving, unnerving yeah. Yes. Uh, deja vu, or I guess this vuja day or whatever. Um, <laughs> Je also, <m'ai> <laughs> it's so weird and jarring that I think scientists really want to be able to explain it away. Like, it's fine, everybody. It's just the old long-term, right. short-term file cabinet problem. Yeah, it's the same people who are like, yeah, yeah, dreams. Yes! And right. I'm not We're buying like, that uh, either. Mm, there's a lot more going on there than just like, right. Because don't you feel like the times where you get deja vu is very lined up? Like, it, they're, uh, come on. Come on. Now, I contradict myself because how often on this show do we talk about how weak and fragile the human mind yes. is and how fallible and... Right. 
we get things wrong constantly. We're if certain we're right. Right. So that's probably this too. But right. it feels like one of the mysteries of the universe to me. Yes, it does. And we don't know jack shit. No. Like, we know nothing about anything. Yeah, that's what I, will, I feel about this. It's like... I the, mean, please. Because, like, it feels like one of the breadcrumbs the universe is leaving to be, like... Like yeah. dreams. Yeah. There's more to this story, everyone. Yeah. Mm. So, I'm not buying it. You got to really do some labor, you scientists. Try to convince me. Yeah. This is something that can be induced, though. They were able to do this in a laboratory. By... <laughs> this is going to be like crop circles. Because now I'm like, oh, okay. Well, I guess I was wrong I mean, about that. But here's the thing. It's like in the same way that you could probably induce other things. Like you can make other make somebody dream about a particular subject, but the the... That's not all of, that's not the whole story. Yeah. You know, or like I, and you know, you and I kind of go back and forth on this, but like the people who test psychics, like they're never going to be able to test that in a way that, cause it just like, and I understand that they can't, they don't have any data on that because it does, it's so untestable and inconsistent and everybody just looks like a fraud anytime they get put through any test but then explain my mom i can't i can't explain the things that i've heard and i'm like how the fuck do you know there's no actually no way actually no way like and weird shit Mm -hmm. like my downstairs neighbor had her brother come to her in a dream and then my mom meets with her the next day to do a reading for her and then her brother has a heart attack, had a heart attack that same night and nobody knew but my mom was like, you need to talk to your brother about the heart or something like – and he had a fucking heart attack the night before. Like how? How? And she doesn't say anything? Nobody know. Like they haven't talked for 15 years? How does somebody know that? The same day? Mm. I'm sorry. I don't know what that is. So I feel like deja vu falls into that category and so does maybe deja vu. I don't know. Yeah, because um, I would agree that there's so much that we don't know. There's so many mysteries of the universe, which to me that's the fun part. I mean this life on this earth kind of sucks. So those yeah. things are the fun parts. Find the fun parts where there's still question marks. Yeah, and just thinking – Hmm, that's that can keep you in, interested and engaged. I'd be and curious to know what how many of our listeners have this. That one, John Mayville. Yeah. Wonder why it's not as popular. I think people just don't know what it is. Do you think that the the one where like you know you enter your room and it feels new? Do you think that that's as fleeting as deja vu, or is it? Like, do you think that it's the identical yeah, sensation? Yeah, let's see. Somebody, so somebody wrote about it, and they said, once I got off at my regular bus stop to go home, and it was like stepping off a bus in a foreign country. I didn't recognize the street signs, locations, nothing. I had to use wow. Google Maps to make it the 300 feet to my door, well, said one user fleeting. who experiences the phenomenon around migraines. Okay. Ooh, that gives me, like, tingles. This um, kind of, like, I don't know if it could be related, but um, Jessica Weed, our brainiac, she sent me an article about how playing Tetris can um, prevent trauma, uh, intrusive oh. thoughts. Oh, I'm sure. So, like, if you, they did a study where people well, Yeah, because you've replaced them with, like... Looking at everything, you see well, Tetris like, and everything. They said it's, you know, the visual, spatial, whatever <sighs> they call that. Yeah. It somehow does something to the brain that prevents that from <sighs> hardwiring or whatever. Get out! And it kind of feels like you're describing because migraines are, can you know, have to do with more than just like 
there, there's a visual component on a lot of them. Like Adam gets auras, you know, yes. he knows when they're coming because he gets this weird thing in his vision. Yeah. So you can see how like visual spatial stuff with relation to migraine could also be associated oh. with memory or yes. whatever. Because that's probably where it's stored. Like when you get off the bus, you know, your brain knows where to go Correct. home, right? Yeah. I don't know. It seems connected. That is so cool. It did say also that um, word games can prevent intrusive thoughts too. It wasn't just Tetris, also word games. So Wow. That's yeah. really interesting because it, it really is kind of over you're, – you're doing a repetitive action with the yeah. same set of like whatever it is, the same set of symbols and a letter is just a symbol. So you're doing like – repetitive action with mm. the same set of symbols and the way that they introduced this phenomenon was by doing a repetitive task with let's hmm. see what it says um they used in the lab in a laboratory word alienation and somatic satiation um so they said that part uh, 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 how do they say they did it? Tell me how you conducted the fucking experiment. Um, well, because while you look, the Tetris one, they took people that were in car accidents, and while they were at the emergency room, they made them play Tetris. Can you imagine if you've been in a car accident and they were like, hey, can you <laughs> quickly No, I think that actually might be good. Well, because it, it checks out you out was. of, because <gasps> your brain isn't like putting it together and stuff. Yeah. Oh, that's so fucking cool. Yeah, it was like, Preventing that, uh, whatever PTSD or whatever trauma does, preventing that connection from being formed. Oh, so for the test, all they did was make them write repeatedly copy words until they felt hmm. peculiar. And then that w- they repeated it so much till they to the point where it became unfamiliar. So it's just like when we write something. So it's, it's that. Oh. That's how they tested it, which I feel like we need a... Yeah, I define feel, peculiar. You know what? I feel like I, I, I may have, I may have done a deeper dive on this than I thought because I feel like I did read an article that said they introduced the to something that was familiar a repeated number of times until it became uh, unfamiliar. So kind of like, yeah, I guess it's anything that should be stored in the long term memory would feel familiar. Wow, like our association with a word or whatever. Yeah, but you're right. We've all experienced that. Yeah, that is it. And they call it Deja Vu's evil twin. But I feel like Deja Vu is the evil twin. Yeah. Like if anybody's going to be the evil one, it's going to be like the, wait, I've been here before, but nah, no, you haven't. Well, or and like it? you oh. described, that guy had to use Google Maps and stuff. And it's like, that's not fleeting at all. Whereas when Deja Vu happens, it's sort of like the dream thing where you feel like you want to hold on to it and you're trying to yeah. like stay in it and then you get expelled from it you know yes and it's so sometimes like i can stay in it for a while that's fun and then when i tell myself oh you're having deja vu and even that part is deja vu i'm like oh it's still happening double deja vu yeah that's so cool (laughs) i'm like i don't even care if it's my brain not working who gives a fuck yeah it's wild yeah that one was a fun one to read and it's, I don't know, it, I know that it's probably not real, but it sure feels real when it's happening. Yes, I love when mm-hmm. Susie's like this. I wish they could induce that. That like, feeling of, like, deja, deja vu. vu. Yeah. Huh, I wonder if you can. Yeah, why are they just inducing that other one? Yeah, why, I, I'm sure somebody's researched this or studied this. Probably because it's... Not fucking cool. Yeah, <laughs> it's probably because it is mysterious, and they yeah. don't know what's going on. Yep, can't liars. do studies on it. Liars. Uh, liars. I'll tell you what. A, <laughs> someone that does know what's going on, and that is the good people at Milk Bar. Oh, yum! Talk oh, about man. delicioso. I mean, <laughs> I think this is would be a wonderful special treat for your summer. You could get. Cakes and cookies and sweets and yumminess. We need to like, you know, Sarah and I were saying how we're feeding our pain. Yeah, uh, I'm fine with that. Because the world's on fire. So sometimes you need a birthday cake for Christ's sake. And sometimes you need strawberry shortcake truffles. 
Mm. And sometimes you eat the whole box, even when you're boyfriend comes over and he probably wants a sweet treat and then you're you don't just eat them before he even gets there and then pretend like they were never there to begin with and they find some in the trash and he goes did you eat all of them and you go uh uh yes and i'm fine with that <laughs> yeah or is that just me don't judge me right hypothetically speaking hypothetically yeah the strawberry shortcake and then the cake truffle they this truffles taste like cake pops yeah like that yeah. really yummy cake yeah oh my god so, so good liars. They deliver nationwide. Oh, so even if you think, right oh, now. yeah, even if you think, oh, they don't have them near me, they do. Because uh, they will deliver them right to your door. Wonderful sweet treats. Oh, and uh, I still haven't tried the uh, cereal milk ice cream, but that's on my what list. What are you waiting for? I know. I will. Uh, right now, Milk Bar has a special limited time offer. Get $10 off any order of $50 or more when you go to milkbarstore.com slash brain candy. You get 10 bucks off an order of $50 by going to milkbarstore.com slash brain candy, milkbarstore.com slash brain candy. Yummy. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. What else did I wanted to share? I am reluctant oh, no. to share okay. this article for one reason and one reason only. What? Sally is going to hear it. <laughs> okay. And it will oh. then validate everything that she did <laughs> in my childhood. <laughs> What's it say? Doing chores linked to better academic performance in kids. I don't know why you're sad about this. You're the chore chart queen. Well, I know this, but like... Uh, I can hear... I can already hear what the... What my mom is going to call and tell me. See? See? It it was important that you did your laundry when you were like four days old. And <laughs> four days old. <laughs> That's a funny visual. <laughs> Just cleaning the little throw up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> throw up <laughs> She's like, well, clocks. you gotta learn to you got better learn sooner than later. <laughs> mom That'll says if you make you. a mess, you gotta clean it up. <laughs> What does it say is the reason that it helps with academic performance? So it's all the things that you can really guess that when you give them chores, it helps especially with problem solving skills. And I think that's because a lot of chores are kind of often just a little, I think the appropriate chores for kids are a little bit more challenging than their level you know what i mean by that Mm -hmm. like they're just in the same way all school is like school it's like designed to push you a little bit designed to teach you a little it's going to it needs to be challenging you know like i had some kids over at my house the other day and i was they were like asking to help and i was like okay i gotta come up with an appropriate helping Mm. task for a three-year-old when making hamburgers oh and it was like, okay, what is the right thing? Can't use any sharp tools, so cutting mm-hmm. anything is out. Can't use the oven, so toasting the hamburger buns is out. I came up with tearing the lettuce leaves off of the iceberg head of lettuce. Yeah. Age appropriate, but still like something to learn when we like get the whole piece instead of just little pieces. And so I think chores that kind of push a kid – I mean that's not a chore, but you know, kind of is, task. like a task mm-hmm. that – um, it helps with better executive functionings, so it helps with planning. Oh, this one's so important. Self-regulation, switching between tasks, and remembering instructions. Ha! Didn't do anything for me for that switching between tasks thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's good to know. Yeah. I am yeah. terrible at um, requiring <sighs> chores of but my son. The, I would say I would disagree because I think that you and your family do the two that sh- were shown to have the most benefit. Okay. Can you guess what two chores, what two categories of chores I cannot. Gave, gave children the best benefits? I can't. I have no clue. Cooking oh. and gardening. Oh my gosh. I guess because I wouldn't think of those what? as chores. Yeah, that's what right. I'm saying is that you're doing the, these things are chores, but I think that your family naturally does them. Like you tell Lincoln, like you guys go outside and you it tend to the garden and you tend to the yeah. plants and it doesn't feel like chores because it doesn't. And that not that the best kind of thing where you can incorporate that into play in a way? Like that's what my mom did really when she was like, okay, 
first one to clean up their room <laughs> is the winner. And I'd be like, <laughs> oh, I got this. I have to win. I guess I always think of yeah. chores as something they do independently. Like, you know, feed the dog or whatever, the, you know, people have their kid do. Load the dishwasher. Yeah. And, like, I'm not involved. Whereas with cooking and um, gardening, we just all we do it all together. But yeah. I guess it counts. So it says that the – so how they did the study, they – the study looked at parents and guardians of 207 children between the ages of 5 and 13, and they were asked to complete questionnaires on the number of chores their children did and their then uh, their child's executive functioning, how they did in school, problem-solving abilities, things like that. And they found that engagement in self-care chores, such as making themselves a meal and family care chores, like making someone else a meal, significantly predicted working memory and mm-hmm. uh, inhibition – or. So the ability to think before acting. Oh, God. Don't have any of that either. That's um, not true. Well, maybe I do. Yeah, you're right. I do. I do think before I act. But I'm impulsive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, do I, how, how am I equally in, inhibited but also impulsive? I think it – I notice your impulsivity is more like when – like if I suggest it, you're like, okay. Like yeah, you're agreeable. True. Yeah. Do you but think I also that you're interrupt. impulsive when you're on your own? Mm. Mm-mm. No, it's I'm more, more like social. I might have to, yeah, I'm like yeah. my own babysitter when I'm on my own. I have to be like, no, 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 we can't do that right now. But I had to practice that. I really did. You know what? I had to. I had to practice that because I used to, and I think this also has to do with time management and like how long you think things are going to take. So I would be like driving to school and I would pass a target and I would have a target return to do. I'd be like. I got to stop in there because my the impulse to do that, like it, it's like here's the item right there on the seat. You have to do this. This is on your to do list, and, and that that I think I was like I would be impulsive about acting on those kind of things that in a way I thought was helping my to do list, yeah. and then it would end up making me rush to school or be five minutes late or something like that. And then uh-huh. I had to learn what like how to rearrange. Yes, and how yeah. to rearrange my to-do list and organize things in, in order of importance, which I worked with a therapist for a long time on. Oh my where God. we would like, yeah, I'd meet with her every week and we would list, write a list of the 10 things that were the most important things that I had to do this week. This works with, this is like regular old ADHD treatment in therapy, but it's really, really helpful. You list the 10 things that you have to do or whatever. How, stick with 10 because like... I would write a crazy list. Is the is ADHD the similar? Um, I was reading about. Um, I think it was in that addiction book talking about mm-hmm. marijuana, and how marijuana's effect is that you lose the ability to prioritize, <laughs> and so when you're watching a show and it all of a sudden seems like crazy and wild, it's because your brain isn't doing its normal thing where it's like, no, you don't have to focus on that. Everything yeah, it's becomes. A, they important. call it a drug of novelty. Yeah. Everything becomes novel. A big deal. So it's what you're, yeah. what's in front of you is, yeah, a big deal. And it deal. doesn't know, it can't filter like, no, that's actually not important. Don't focus on that. Do you think that's what ADHD is like? Yeah. And there is an overlap between people who smoke weed and who have undiagnosed ADHD because it prevents those that those feelings. Like it slows the mind down. At least I found oh like, like weed is almost like a... Uh, it, it like there are a lot of people who self medicate and just have undiagnosed ADHD, and it it it's almost duct it's duct tape for the symptoms though. Mm-hmm. It's not the cure. It's not you need like the habits and the, but it does slow you down. And I think it does do something like have maybe a not an opposite effect on those kind of people, but it. I don't know. It brings sure me closer to like a midpoint, like a, a closer to so whatever the sta- <laughs> like the norm is. Less, <laughs> fewer standard deviations away from the norm when I wow. do smoke weed. Then, but I, it this the other thing causes like it's more like the CBD stuff that that does that, which is why I like dad grass. It oh, it's it's a better for your <laughs> for your for needs. The eight, Yes, for, yes, yeah, because like I, you know, if you need to function, like it, you're getting some side effects with 
the THC that, yeah, slow you down. And then, but I do feel like I'm able to, no, just be more focused on what's in front of me. But yeah, everything is still novel. novel. I wouldn't have good discernment of what I should do in what order, high or not high. That's wacky. I love it. Yeah. I don't know what it is about whatever I have going on that attracts you guys to me. Oh, you mean potheads? <laughs> ADHD people. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, was uh, like, huh? I just feel like everyone around me has ADHD. You're you're very because I think it's because you have a good routine and you are stable and consistent and like like you're you're the the way that you have put effort into creating structure mm. is very it's comforting, like comforting. Yeah. to somebody who has I, I think the same thing about Eli because he has a really good schedule and he's like all right it's bedtime come on we're going upstairs brushing <laughs> our teeth and I'm like <laughs> okay let's go <laughs> like, if you yeah, there, like you'll do it yes I want to do it I want so bad that's why I told you I need to find that partner who's gonna be like did you drink water today? Like, <laughs> and like turn it into something sexy or something like, you know, like I'll just like make it like, like the only way that I could find somebody to do that is if I like, you know, and then, so, like, like, I'm going to, I got to have to slowly work on him for this. <laughs> oh, and then like my brain must really be entertained by, or, or, uh, maybe yes. I'm, um, maybe you guys relax me cause you're not uptight, you know, for sure. Yeah. Maybe that. And it. we're like the yes and people and we're, we're like, <laughs> The, um, like e- easily excitable, like like. Well, and I feel like you guys are really good at seeing all the sides to an argument, yes. and like you're real. Oh, changing our opinion about things in two <laughs> seconds. Right, 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 right. Yeah, I'm like yeah, yeah. Just present me different evidence. Okay, I got that. Because the brain is thinking so many new thoughts and like going like, what about this? 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 What about yeah, this? Yeah, what like about, like literally forever. Open-minded. That is. Actually, 100% for better or worse. You said it best. You said you read some article that said ADHD, having ADHD was like being in a room where all the information you need are written on post-it notes that are falling from the ceiling, but you have to find which, po- like catch the post-it note as yeah. it falls and like find the right one yeah. when there are all these others falling around you. And that's what it feels like where it's like that one. Oh, what does that say? Oh, and then you th- like, yeah, ah, it's really hard. I'll tell you it's what's exhausting. not hard. And that is deciding to try Chime because, you know, well, there's so many options now with, like, credit and all that jazz. And you just want to get some good credit on the go, you know? But they have Credit Builder. You can start building credit with your everyday purchases and one-time payments and all that. It's important. It is important. And I think a lot of people struggle and get overwhelmed with it because, like, you know, you got, like, freaking Susie Orman (sighs) barking about whatever. Right. All her stuff, and it gets confusing, but you need to have a good credit score, so you got to sort it out. Um, so, it's like cont- daily credit score maintenance, too. That's great. Yeah, it's a great system. You guys will love Chime. So, continue your credit journey with Chime. Sign up, takes only two minutes, doesn't affect your credit score. Get started at chime.com slash brain candy. That's chime.com slash brain candy. Okay, I'm going to do the like thing where I say a bunch yes, of stuff real go fast. Go for it. The Chime Credit Builder Visa credit card is issued by Stride Bank N.A. pursuant to a license from Visa USA Chime checking account and $200 qualifying direct deposit required to apply for the secured Chime Credit Builder Visa credit card. Regular on-time payment history can have a positive impact on your credit score. Impact to score may vary and some user scores may not improve. It's like when I see stuff like that, because in the financial sector, you know, there's a a lot of regulation because it's so important and consequential. Yeah. So that's why you have to read stuff like that, legalese. Um, I wouldn't mind them regulating the government, regulating all kinds of other industries, you know, like, yeah. um, the monopolistic problems, what we have with your buddy, Jeff Bezos and all that. Like God. you guys, it's come, insane. Come on. Like our brain can't wrap, like it can't, it really cannot even comprehend how big the discrepancy between that's the bit, problem. Like, That's why nothing yeah. happens. Like, I feel like I was just talking with somebody about this who said, like, if you div- divided that wealth, it would be the equivalent of, like, $700,000 a year per person. If mm-hmm. I had that much money, I think I would give it – I would have to give it to everybody. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, it just doesn't More make More evidence sense. for why I would definitely split the money with Johnny on the top of that mountain. <laughs> right. I liked, uh, like, over the years, just hearing all his um, made-up oh. reasons why. Yeah, they've been real fun. You didn't deserve it. Yeah. It, it changes. You know, it's not always it does. the same one. Every year, know. every every six months or so, like you the weather. You never know what excuse he'll give. Right. I'm like, oh, is it because I was with somebody who, okay, or it's because... Uh, uh, you, you know, betrayed you him, to, or yeah, uh-huh. um, he knew you would have taken it. If it were, yeah, it's like, so great. It's just fun here and all the possible reasons when he could have yeah. just said, I wanted it. Yeah, right. I am excited that we're going to revisit the, uh, or not revisit, but I'm excited that we're going to be doing the All Stars 3 viewing party uh, weekly on yeah. our, over at the old Patreon. Well, so it's, it's fun now to. Right. For a while, for we... For academic, t- like, <laughs> studies purposes. We took a Recent. break, and, like, it was getting to be too much, especially, like, cast members were getting weird with us and being like, how dare you say this thing? And we're right. just like, they, they, They're confused on which side we're on or something. Yeah, so I was like, fuck this. I'm not doing it anymore. It's not worth it. And then yeah. we, like, dipped our toe back with all the homecoming stuff for New Orleans, and it was just so fun. Yeah. And insightful, and and some of the behind. Like, I feel like we owe it to the viewers who are more. Um, I don't know who watched for the, who are more like the original kind of viewers, and and the things that they That's watched true. for. Like we, I, I I feel like we get to reward their long term commitment uh, commitment mm-hmm. with some real behind the scenes info. And, like, just how the show is made, what it's like in a way that I have, I do, I, there, another, it doesn't exist. And I'm doing a commercial for us, but unessentially, we're just talking about how amazing it is. Like, and I was thinking about this the other day. There is nowhere else where you have people talking about the challenge with challenge experience who are not funded by the challenge yeah or need to stay in their good or graces. need to stay in their good graces or or yeah. are in co- on contract like under contract with them or anything like that it just gives us a lot of freedom that i think maybe i enjoy so much because i didn't have it for so long when there were so many years being under their contract and things like that yeah i feel like we and it, we've been away from it long enough where it does feel like we're genuinely viewers. Yes, we don't have really an agenda. I half the people I don't even know, right? And Me um, and so we're able to just talk about it based on our own experiences, but with some distance yeah. that yeah. makes it a little more fun, not as and traumatic. Some, and from like kind of like a more I don't know, like academic and and like educational or or um. What's the word I'm looking for? Like, just substantive. Yeah, mm-hmm. I love it. Um, what is your impression on? Like, do you think the All Star Challenge on Paramount Plus is a franchise that's lucrative or how, like good? Like, do you think Paramount Plus is happy with how many people watch it? I think a lot of people. Watch. I think more than that. I think it gets people <clears throat> to sign up for that. Really? The yeah, I'm I mean, just so curious about it because there's got so me to many sign sh- up. Yeah, that's true. There's just so many streamers, though. For most people, there's I so think, many. how do they decide which ones to sign up for? Yeah, I sign up because we have to watch so many different things for this show. But right. I wonder what I would do otherwise. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not signing up for Amazon Prime. <laughs> Right. Nah. So we so if it's any forever for our documentary club or something like that and we need to watch I'm gonna be stealing your if you do login. If you do sign up for Prime, I want you to know that nobody's judging you here. Like yeah, you can but here, do it. Here's the thing. Mm-hmm. You can get the benefits of Prime. I mean not watching the shows. So whatever, I won't get to do that. But and then, at the, and then at that point, I'm like, am I not supporting the production companies, which was the industry that my parents were in? And like, is that messed up that I'm not doing that? I don't know. I still don't know. But uh, you can get the same benefits of like the free shipping as long as you spend more than $25. Mm. So you don't feel like that puts money in his pocket? 
I mean, it does, but not my $99 a year. Wow. I think this is just about the $99. If you're still shopping at Amazon, <laughs> then I I'm really trying to find a loophole in my own. Because, <laughs> like, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure, like, you just didn't want to pay that fee. No, here's the thing. I would have gladly paid that fee, especially since the fee I was paying, they, they like reduced it. You know how they do when like you're like, oh, I'm going to quit. And yeah. then they're like, are you sure? We're going to wow, give it to you for to zero dollars. And I'm like, yeah, okay. And so I was on a student account and it yeah. was so cheap. Yeah, it was, it was nice, $29 yeah. a year, something crazy like that, mm-hmm. where I'm like, oh my God, they're paying me to shop, I feel like. And so I still didn't. I was like, no, nah, no. So, so like, you know, the, the, I spent more on less. Is the, pr- the price hike really hit you hard. And it was, it's more like renewing that was, it's like, <laughs> that is I'm so gonna, weird. How does I know work? it's all in my head. None of this makes sense at all. Um, do you know. think that it makes you, maybe it makes you spend less money in general? Yes. Like, Yes, 100%, yeah. which is probably what I really like. Yeah, yeah I could see it that. definitely because I'm like, oh, I'll just get this. Like, you know what I bought, which now I, 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 I think it'll be fine. I'm going to use it. I oh bought an eye, eyelash lift. This is like the last thing I bought on Amazon. <laughs> eyelash lift and die kit. Okay. I went and got that done somewhere once. Me too. Time. Okay. Me too. Did you Best love money the- I spent. I'm fucking loved it okay i did it before i went camping for like a real long time and it looked like i was wearing makeup every day oh okay i just... without any of the weird feeling like i because i do not like the feeling of like extensions yeah and sitting there for an hour makes me feel like i'm going to crawl out of my skin and then i have like a panic attack in the last 10 minutes where i'm like get me out of here ah! and i i understand that the dye process or last, that was a little bit similar but I loved it, but it was expensive, and so I'm like, yeah. Man. How much was this? Fifty bucks, but you can. It's four uses. Oh wow! So, and did you try it wh- yet? Not yet. One oh of two God. things will happen: I'll have beautiful tinted, lifted eyelashes, or, or you'll go blind. <laughs> no eyelashes, <laughs> or no vision. <laughs> I'm gonna be careful not to get like that part. I know at least how to not get it in my eyeball. As long as you don't do that, you're you're not going to lose your sight. So that, and I got one that all five stars with over three thousand reviews. So like, can you, you know. document it on your close friends on Instagram? Oh sure. Okay. Oh sh- okay. That'll be fun <laughs> for all of us. Well, because I mean, this I got to see basically. Yeah. Hmm. I if also would like see to it, see. Go to our <laughs> Patreon.com/slash Brain Candy, and you can sign up to be on Sarah's close friends list. On yes. Instagram. Yeah, because I share be fun things like pictures of Tuesday sacrifice. That was crazy. <laughs> Can you oh, believe that? My God, I just wrote to Sarah. When, she just said Sarah, Sarah. Period. I cannot. Period. She was like, and, I cannot. Period. Because like it was everything. It was like the hair, and as you pointed out, the flower. Like motif. why? <laughs> I know exactly what you're thinking about. And then, like, just, like, your the vibe. The vibe. Overall, it's like, that is not, I don't know her. This I do is not exa- know. It's so funny. This is what I hear from people. Eli says the same thing. He looks at the pictures or, like, I tell him stories about, like, what it was like. On that the- is He's not like, you. When you say these things, I don't understand because that's not the person I'm here with. Yeah. Who is this? Yeah. What is your I- answer to that? You feel like the same? Like you look at her and you're like, that's me. No, I feel like I feel like she is a you know what? Yeah, you're kind of right. Yeah, it's like body snatchers. It does feel like body (laughs) snatchers during that time. It's like when Ah! they, you know, the conspiracy. I should make like a close friend highlight with all these in it. Can you do yeah. that? I'm sure you can. So, like, yeah. you can join anytime and still get the privilege of yeah. seeing these amazing, not amazing photos. Yeah, because that's it's... what I wore to our family's Thanksgiving. That was okay. That was a special occasion. That was a special sacrifice. 
Special occasion sacrifice. I just, I I can't breathe. I do see the bridge. Like, she's here Tuesday. And then you, Sarah, Mm -hmm. are here. Yeah. And then the bridge, I think, is real world Brooklyn, Sarah. Yes. Correct. I can see you in her. Yeah. But. No. It's just crazy. It just. San Francisco lesbian, Sarah, do you see me in her? Because I almost feel like I, I see more I of me and her. Of her. I'll show you some more pictures of her. I'll put those up today. I'll, uh, I'll show you more pictures wear? of her. What did she wear? What kind of... Oh, it was that rockabilly Overalls. thing. Over, oh. uh, not overalls, suspenders. And, and, and <laughs> pompadour hair. It was, it was the boy version of Tuesday Sacrifice. So when was the rockabilly? The androgynous version. Mm, probably what you saw in those Thanksgiving photos. That yeah. was like full... But then I it was also I wish I had photos from this time period where I had one white stripe in my hair that I would wear in the pompadour and I would like dye it different colors like so it'd be like a red stripe. Oh lord, it's like Cruella. Yeah, it was it's like just, that. You're you were so um, expressive. I mean, that reel you made no. yesterday kind of speaks to this. How you do oh, yeah. have these personas that you embody, but like. The day to day, Sarah, is pretty like low key, like super low key. Like, <laughs> not like that at all. Yeah, it's, it's really so like cool. the. That's why I said I'm like, yeah, it's like you know, the guys who are with me uh, are real lucky because they uh, get to date different women. Yeah, and do guys do like that. It's like the thing we were talking about where they get bored, right. and so they need curiosity. That. Yeah, real curiosity. Like well, what the huh? Let's. Yeah. Do you want to wind it down, or you want to keep talking? Yeah. I mean, I was going to make a joke that I mix it up with the hair up top and down below too. <laughs> so it's really. Oh, keep you changed that. Oh yeah. Keep oh. everything just like. Sometimes like I feel like this. Some, some. No, no. Just like there, not there. Like what? Yeah. We're <laughs> Which may just be me being lazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. I. I can't. Anytime I've tried to do like a shape down there. You go for a shit like what shape were we talking about? It. You a fucking lightning bolt or what? There was a, there was a period where I think there was more of like a, I guess it was almost like an arrow, really triangle, like a triangle. That was popular, and so I was like, I'll try that. You mean like an actual arrow, like a line, and then like a triangle <laughs> on top? That is getting that. Those are multiple angles that we're trying to just make the, in that. It was just a triangle. It was just, just a triangle. Yeah, like up or it, down, down, Lightning down. Yeah, the white so part was kind of an top. arrow. <laughs> kind of an arrow. Kind of like I'm with stupid. And then <laughs> <laughs> Or enter here. Yeah. Whichever. And but I could never get it symmetrical and so you'd take a little off the side and then be oh I gotta take some off this side. Yeah. And then before oh, you know, it's I gone. know that move. And next thing you know, she's bald. Yeah. yeah. I, I like, felt I the same way about that. that the old landing strip as they called it. Same problem. Where it's like mm, 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 Maybe that's what it was. Are. Maybe my landing strip ended up in the triangle. I don't Just, know. Yeah. <laughs> you can't see me now, but I'm like doing the arms traffic like controller. a controller. Tra- air traffic controller arms in just the perfect shape. It's just not oh worth the effort. Gosh. It's like you're right. All or nothing is kind of the way to go. Yeah. In terms of ease. Right. Oh, my God. Yeah, you changed things up over there times yeah and like sometimes you're like camp pollyanna and sometimes you're like let me tie you up i mean like mm-hmm. dominatrix mm-hmm. it could go either any which way anyway really just keep things interesting over here you never know what you're gonna get so all right let's wind it we talked about deja vu's evil twin we talked about croakies oh my gosh what if we came out with brain candy croakies <laughs> I that that got the biggest laugh of the whole show. Susan's dying. What if? I cannot take it. <laughs> Is Crokey's like the brand? I have like, no idea. I don't even know. Let's Google Crokey's. How do you even fucking 
even spell that. Pretty candy croakies. That's croakies. The funniest it thing is. Ever. It is. It's a brand. Original eyewear retainer. Okay, that's the okay. That's Listen, the product. Okay, this is funny that a retainer is now going to keep me from losing something because a retainer <laughs> is something I lost in the past. Stop it! <laughs> I can't take it. I, can, I cannot. Hey, you know what else I love? A great price. <sighs> really, I bet. I mean, nine dollars REI. Like, I don't think a lot of people are buying them. I think they got to keep the price pretty low. Are a lot of not, people not buying these? This seems like really a, 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 pro- a the- problem for the... It was a problem. Here's the solution. Did the problem go away? What happened? No, I think for a period of time, it wasn't about the problem. People thought they were like, cool, you know, because it signaled that you were active. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So now I need them for their actual. Fu- this is the same thing that this is the, what got me into Crocs, right? Because I was right. like, I need it for it's the best camp shoe. It really is. And but the they price, are like I mean, in style. I, and then they float. That's the best thing. A lot of the other ones don't float. That's the problem I ran into in Costa Rica is that you get these great shoes, but they would sink to the bottom, and so I need them to float. And I need them to be cheap, and I need them to weigh nothing because I'm backpacking with them. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I can that's... see why you would need them. And yeah, like I said, but I'm also now a dad. You know what I did when I got? I went, to, you know, because it's like yeah, dad totally. with crokies and Crocs. Um, <laughs> I'll leave you with this one. I went to uh, what might arguably be like the most Gen X brunch spot in all of Denver, where it was like, oh, this is what the kids are wearing. And when I got to the front door, and they were like, IDs, please. <laughs> I said, I'm so embarrassed. I was like, you want the real one or the fake one? Did not. And then Eli rolls his eyes. I was like, how embarrassed are you to be with me? Right now. They, so I think now my new favorite laugh? thing is just saying embarrassing things to them. Embarrassing dad jokes. Did they laugh at your jokes? No. Oh, that's the worst part. Like a little, but more like roll their eyes and then he was like, Sarah. Stop. And I'm like, but I bet, but I'm up. She is oh, going God. full dad joke. I'm it's going. So I mean, I might as well lean into it, you know, now that I discovered I am this. It's your gift. <sighs> Crokies would like to sponsor us. <laughs> Crokies. <laughs> Oh, oh, man. So uh, make your kids do chores. It helps them <sighs> cognitively. But don't tell Sally. Play play Tetris. Play Tetris for sure. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that thing when you can't, when you write the word a million times, you can't remember what it is. Jamais vu. Jamais vu. We'll see you next time, everybody. Bye. Bye.